Hello guys, hi everyone, Victor with you here and welcome to the forexbot.com channel. Today we will have a live, well not live, but a trade idea for the euro versus Great British Pound. You might say we already had one, but yeah, this is idea within the idea. The first idea on the euro pound was a long term view. Now we will have a short term idea which shouldn't last long. Before we start, I would like to remind you that all the information in this video is purely for educational purpose only and should not be considered as a financial advice. Quick over, overview of our previous ideas. Uh, we had Euro GP long term. What we have here is still a valid idea, but we will have also to see the short term idea now whether it will be breaking the downside target or not. Although it's still valid, our entry, if you remember, was at 87.86. On the daily chart, it was the opening price here. Uh, and yeah, the trade idea is valid. And we still expect the decline. Now, Swiss franc, Japanese yen, we still expect this strong move to the downside. Well, it can take some time, but still a valid long term idea, although stop loss here can be easily placed at the break even point to secure the profits and reduce the risk to the minimum. Now, New Zealand Canadian dollar, it's rising as expected. Price was attempting to break below this support. If we move to four hour chart, there was only spike produced, but no closing below this level. So very good. It's still an uptrend and I expect this target to be reached sometime early next week. Now we move on to the Canadian Japanese yen. Now we will move to our idea for today, which is Euro GBP, another idea in the short term. What we see, guys, uh, also interesting picture here. You can see it's pretty short term decline that I expect. The interesting point is obviously for our chart where we had this clean bounce of the 200 exponential moving average. Extremely good. We had that bearish divergence on four hour chart, which is also uh, seems to be quite bearish for the euro GBP. And what is interesting is another bearish divergence on the one hour time frame. Now, I have applied Fibonacci retracement to this wave to the upside, and we have 88.6% Fib retracement at 86.90. I have also applied the Fibs to this correctional wave up where the exponential moving average was cleanly rejected. And we have these two FIBs correspond to one level. And it's all near 86.90. So this is a downside target for, for this trade. I do think it will be very fast, guys. In fact, maybe even today we will manage to reach the target, but most likely it will be Monday or Tuesday. Now, another point here is the breakout of this moving average, which is very bearish again it's getting bearish we can see straight away and finally we have this rejection of this fibs applied to this first wave down very clean rejection of the 50 fibs and currently this is our resistance area besides for our chart as i said we struggled to break above yes there was a spike produced higher but overall price remains below both moving averages. It's still very bearish. While there is a massive support form here, I think price will attempt to retest it once again. And if broken, our long-term idea would be actually perfect for, for adding or waiting for a pullback and adding to the trade. So overall, short-term idea for both trades, I would watch this 86.90 level as a first key support and the first target and this should be pretty fast it's not that much but for the euro gbp it's approximately 60 70 pips and uh, considering it's a uh, quite fast um uh, quite fast trend that is expected it should be uh, also good now in regards to the stop loss the one hour and wait four hour close above 
clearly will invalidate this trade. But if we're talking about the hard stop loss, I would be using it approximately at 87.80. Uh, let me see. 87.80. 80, 87, 90. So just below, maybe here, just one pip above, it is perfect as a hard stop loss, even lower to make the risk reward 2 to 1. So overall, the entry is just on the opening of this hour, is just perfect. If price can manage to retest this resistance, would be even better. So yeah, this is the trade for this Friday. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, smash the like and subscribe to our channel to see more trade ideas. Have a great weekend and we'll speak to you soon, guys. Take care.